So that to me, that's like a result sometimes of bad laws. Not all the time. There are crazy people. But we've seen that down in Florida, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That guy was chewing the other guy's face off. Yeah, there are definitely crazy people. That's and and, that's and for those sure. were. But a lot of people respond to incentives like, like like I said, if I'm a criminal and you you have just pulled me over. And I'm thinking like, oh man, I'm about to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Maybe I will resist you. And if, let's say, I don't know, let's say in a perfect world, drugs are illegal. Then it's like, well, you've pulled me over maybe because I was speeding. Right. I'll just take the ticket and I'll go. Right. And, and you know what? As a police officer, like in the violence is what I believe. <laughs> right. And, and just because I pull someone over doesn't mean I have to give them a ticket. That's true. It's a, Really, it's an educational piece. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, hey, could you slow down? Because that's out of respect. There's a lot of kids in the area you don't want them to get hurt or anybody else to get hurt yeah I, I mean i would rather like let's say you saw someone smoking pot i would rather have you remove it from them and like destroy it and and just say like hey please you know this is against the law don't do this right. <laughs> like you you can use your disclosure like you just right. told D me the discretion and, 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 and i think there's a lot of times the police officers <laughs> do work with the people mm -hmm. when they arrest them and stuff and when they go to court they do work things out not everybody goes to jail mm -hmm. Not everybody um, gets a huge fine, you know, if you're really good with the prosecutor and stuff and, and really good and polite and he's polite to you and everything works out good, sometimes it, you know, when you go to court, it's, you know, and the piece of paper says you're going to get a $500 fine and all of a sudden it's either placed on file, you know, but, for but six per months capita, or a year. Per thousand people, the United States has the most prisoners worldwide. Like we outnumber China, Russia, the United Kingdom, all, everyone combined. Yeah, but I think like you can look up about, Wikipedia. You can look up right. any source you but want. But I think the United States has probably the best prisons. The be best what prisons? Oh, um, because you look at um, where's that one with that guy who killed the girl, and he got sent to Peru or Peru. Yeah, yeah that prison is like they have gangs in there, and they basically put you in, and you got to fend for yourself. Well, I mean, I won't deny that it's like. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to go here, but let's say I'm a slave. Well, I have the best. I have the best uh, master. I have the best house. I'm still a slave, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's like anything. But I'm just saying is, um, we are really scrutinized and we really looked upon when we when we arrest people. Mm -hmm. Just because a person's in custody doesn't mean you can keep on beating them, or you got to protect the person's right that you arrested. Because if you don't, the person that he did the crime against you're not protecting their rights either because mm -hmm. now this might get thrown out of court because you messed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm another... Hmm. It's a law, it's a... You know, it's a big wide thing, but... Just to get back to this, it doesn't look too bad. <coughs> well, you like it, so that's... Uh, we right. appreciate you like but the artistic... We, we, just uh, don't, <laughs> we just don't want any... Since it's a new center, you know, they get a little... But they just don't want anybody to um, do anything bad. Like, you know, the President of the United States is whatever if they're gonna make claims to anybody or point fingers but this doesn't seem to be too bad is it, is, are you sure about that number um are you I'm like 99 sure. percent sure let me look yeah. at five percent have you have you seen that yeah. commercial the hot dog commercial when the guy says i'm 99 percent sure and the guy goes <laughs> and you're not sure no i'm 99 percent sure he goes it's okay if you don't know <laughs> yeah uh, it's uh 25 percent of the world's prison yeah so do you think this is going to be disturbed or washed away before the morning? United States. Oh, I don't know if it's unless it's going to rain. Prisoners. Oh, all right. If that's all we're worried about, that's good. Mm -hmm. Where's the big guy with his uh, police car? <laughs> I guess he's. Is he resting. still banned from campus? <laughs> his day off, he is. Yeah. Yours was lifted, right? I was never banned. Oh, you were never banned. Yeah. Uh, there was another person. Uh, yeah, he's he's working he was, on it. <laughs> uh, Daryl was uh, banned from uh, Keene State College while just being here. He, he actually hadn't done anything. Daryl's getting it, a shout out right now. Yeah, Ian was the one <laughs> on the, the megaphone. And, um, you know, I don't know what's really wrong with the megaphone, but if someone wants to ban someone, that's fine. But then uh, to ban Daryl as well is, is pretty absurd. <laughs> Who's the guy with the mask? The day the uh, husband uh, thing. Graham, Graham had a mask on. They thought it was Ian. Oh, and the woman, and the woman. That <laughs> uh, was Kelly. Kelly, 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 yeah, Kelly. Yeah. 
that's uh, that's funny. I'll have to play a clip of that video <laughs> after. All right, guys. Yeah, good to see you, Brandon. It was good to see you guys, and take care of yourself, son. Yep. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Okay, take care of yourself. Have a great evening, guys. You too. Message, so that's great. Cool. I think uh, we had a great discussion, um, we shared some information with each other, and really empathized uh, with each other. You know, it seems like we share a lot of the same concerns. We both want peace and uh, more freedom and for people's rights to be respected. So I think we have a lot in common, and you know, uh, through more interactions like this, we'll be able to create the peaceful world that we all want to see. Anything from you, Garrett?